Trump has been indicted in Georgia. The last 14 years, I've called Georgia home. I have my business here, got married here. My daughter was born in Fulton County. I've been all over the world in most major U.S. cities. If I could live anywhere, I would stay right here in Georgia. To me, Georgia is the best place in the world. Where people still say, yes, ma'am, and thank you, sir. Where even the liberals go to church on Sundays. And to see the establishment drama brought to my doorsteps, the globalist socialist chaos brought to our community. Last night, when I watched the Fulton County DA smirk while she indicted former President Donald Trump along 18 others on RICO charges like they are part of the Sopranos, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty pissed. And then I read all 96 pages of the indictments. There is nothing in there to get anyone. The DA specifically said that the overt acts listed are not illegal on their own, but because there are enough of them, they can be charged as a criminal enterprise. What do these overt acts include? Questioning the outcome of the 2020 election for making false statements about the integrity of the election in other states, for asking for email addresses of public officials and sending emails, for hiring forensic data teams to review election results, for requesting hearings to challenge the results, for unnamed people sending emails, and most importantly, mean tweets. This trial goes nowhere, and they know it. So why all the drama? And why was I so upset? It's not because of the charges. The charges are bullshit. It's because I could see their plan, and I could feel it working. You gotta see the big picture. The play is always geopolitics, always control. The globalist socialist establishment has already conquered LA, San Francisco, Seattle, and Chicago. Where are the Trump indictments? They're trying to take New York, Virginia, Miami, and now Atlanta. Notice they are not indicting him in areas they've already won. It's a squeeze play. Can you see the map? The point of these indictments is not to prevent Trump from running for president. Of all the indictments and charges, none of them can prevent him from running. It's not even about preventing him from winning. They see that the poll numbers jump every time an indictment is announced. If they truly believe that Trump was plotting to overthrow the U.S. government, they would focus all of their energy, resources, and personnel on one case and try to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. You don't indict in multiple states with multiple charges with multiple teams of lawyers. You don't spray and pray. The sole point of the indictments is to divide this country, to keep us occupied fighting each other, Republican versus Democrat, man versus woman, black versus white versus brown versus yellow, poor versus less poor. Don't get distracted. It's not us versus each other. It's us versus them. They're not trying to save democracy. They're trying to crush it. If you're watching from Georgia, if you are my neighbor, beware. Look at what they've done in other cities, other states. Homelessness, drugs, and violence burning it all down so they can build it back up and gain control. The talking head propagandists will surely plaster the news cycle. This time, we got him. What they really mean is, this time, we got you.